Hello everyone. Welcome to this session uh, which we have with Krishnadvi. She is the founder of the Mom Experts. She will be joining us soon. Let me just try to get her in. Hello everyone. Hi Bhavya. Hello. Hi Vidya. I'll just try to get you in as well. Hi Kirti, I see a request from you, but this um, session is just with. Hi Krishnali. Hi Lufa, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good as well. Thank you so much for having. I'm so happy to have you here. Same here, same here. I'm so excited. Uh, hello. Hi, how are you? Okay. Hi, I'm you good. Are on time. You? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So before starting with the session, I'll just give a brief, uh, like you know, um, uh, like you know, a brief idea about why we have these kind of sessions, and uh, then I also want to take uh, the honor of introducing you, Krishnali, and uh, then I'll hand it over to you, and you can talk about yourself a little bit. So yeah, hello everyone, thank you so much for joining us on this session. We call uh, this entire series as raw and real. Uh, the series was started because Vidya and I believe that each woman uh, has a story behind her, her own share of experiences, her own share of struggles. And we feel that we, each and every one of us, can actually learn from each other. And uh, we want to bring forward many such inspiring stories, okay, of women who have, um, you know, who have chosen to take the extraordinary path and have done something momentous that does not mean like you know um uh, it it's not uh, like you know something that is um not done by any any other one of us it, we don't mean uh, we don't mean that but then you know what we really feel is that every woman is an achiever in herself okay once she enters motherhood you know uh, be it a working mom or a stay at home mom Every woman has her own uh, share of challenges and we want to learn how she has dealt with them so that uh, it will help us on our individual journeys. We have with us Krishnali today. She is a chartered accountant. She is a mom blogger and she is the founder of the Mom Experts. And uh, she has two lovely kids. And uh, we will be talking about her postpartum journey, her journey as an entrepreneur, how she deals with her, uh, uh, you know, with her life and how she has achieved so much. Okay, so we will be talking all about that. Uh, Krishnali started the Mom Experts uh, because uh, she felt that there was a void, a gap, uh, wherein like, you know, uh, wherein women don't even know like what to search for, okay, or who to reach out uh, to. Okay, if there are any questions that they have uh, relating to motherhood. So that's why she created this platform. She started the Mom Experts to bridge that gap. We will learn about it more from Krishnali herself. So Krishnali, if you can please, uh, like, you know, talk a few words about the Mom Experts and about yourself, and then we can proceed with another question. Yeah. First of all, thank you so much, Nalufar. Thank you, Vidya, for having me. And uh, I think we've been interacting um, behind the scenes and uh, online yeah. for a long time. But it's absolutely a pleasure to be here and on the new mother portal and to talk about myself and my journey. So um, I'm a chartered accountant and I was practicing. I had a normal life till I got pregnant. And obviously, you know, it's like it's a 360 degree shift. And uh, so the idea was that I was I got a very good pregnancy and postpartum experience, so to say. I was in Mumbai. I was surrounded by the people who were very well informed. Uh, they told me that, you know, these are the right places. I took the best uh, yoga classes, the best Lamaz classes, and I prepared myself for everything. And when I came back to my hometown, it was a completely different story. It was as if I was talking in a different language here because things such as lactation expert or, you know, postpartum mental health issues and all were very alien. People don't take these things seriously. So that's how it started for me, you know, the realization that um, things aren't as easy for everyone. Things aren't as obvious or normal as they should be for everyone. So that was the underlying idea, um, you know, behind the mom experts. And like I said, you know, being in the accountancy profession, and it's a little dull and drab, so to say. And this when you are with, you know, when you're with 
small babies and you see how much they need you and it is so exciting to be responsible for someone and to be actually to a large extent in charge of someone's life so i i knew that okay i really want to do something to make everyone's journey you know a little bit better as as much as i can to just help them make it a little bit smoother and more convenient than i found it was so that is how you know the idea it began it took root and that's okay, about thank you so much uh, krishnali for sharing that you said you were in mumbai and then you came back to your hometown like you are currently in your hometown yes so i am in nagpur mine from a very small town okay. called Mar- it is exactly okay. india and uh, i was born and brought up here so i'm very uh, it's a very nice small town you know very laid back life and a good and very good uh, medical care also to be honest so we have everything we have it's not like it's a remote place so to say but yes the uh, you'll get the basic care but then the things which we call as a i would say the first world kind of things those things are not there okay okay, okay. yeah so, thank you uh, yeah how was your i mean how different was post, how different was your postpartum period for with your two babies was it uh, i mean what were the challenges you were facing so i mean like i said you know i was prepared to a large extent but when you get a child in your arms i think nothing can prepare you for that emotion uh, you know it's a completely new thing and you also realize how vulnerable you are or you know uh how you cannot always be in charge of things so um having someone else who was also prepared with me like my husband it really helped because even if i had to, both my pre- uh, deliveries were through c section so um, uh, to a large extent you know you don't know what is happening after the baby is taken out uh, mm-hmm. even if you have planned things it's not necessary that it will go as per the plan so having someone else uh, you know knowing that okay things will be taken care of really helped but uh, i would say the first one was uh, you know it was a normal like you are very excited a little nervous you are learning your baby is learning so all that is a little bit expected kind of a path the mm. second time was very unexpected for me surprisingly because uh, i was very confident na abhi i have done this before what is there it's it's fine you know the drill it's routine but uh, i was so overwhelmed with emotions especially for my older one you know i was mm-hmm. completely obsessed about her mm-hmm. what she is doing i wanted to know every second of what she is doing what she is eating whether she is going to she was just in play group that time she was two and a half when i delivered my younger one and uh, i was at my mom's and she was uh, with my husband and in-laws and it's in the mm-hmm. same town but obviously mm-hmm. i couldn't visit her so i was i used to continuously keep watching her videos like non stop and i used to keep on tracking her on the cameras which we had installed in the house so it was that okay. i would say it was a little different it was you know those hormones and those baby blues had taken over in a so both experiences okay. were very different uh, but yeah i mean having the support you know then you ease out into things because then after a few days uh, having the right set of people and right set of things it really helps so yeah Right. You were almost emotional when you were talking yeah. about it. Now I, I could sense that voice. So young, you know. And then I told. Then she came to me one day, and she asked me that, uh, uh, "Mama, you know, um, why aren't you coming home? Why aren't you coming home and uh, sleeping with me at home?" I said, "See, baby, I've just gone through a surgery, and I need my mama with me, no?" So mm. then she small face and said, "I also need my mama sometimes." So oh. I was like, "I, I know." <laughs> it was very yeah. emotional. फर्स्ट वन um after having both your babies okay how has it changed you as a person like what are the changes that you have observed in your own identity yeah i think it has changed me a lot it has uh, i would say it has changed me positively uh, you do become a little um, finicky as a mother of course you become over uh, um, you know you stress a lot about things and all that but personally i would say i value my time so much more 
you know i value what i do with my time with my personal time with my kids what i eat you know what i watch so everything you know every minute is precious and the way you want to lead your life you start looking at things in a very uh, in a much more serious way that is what i felt because mm-hmm. now you are you have a much bigger responsibility so um, uh, you know my husband keeps on telling me this that he says youth is wasted on the young it's it's a famous quote and uh, i completely agree when you are young you have everything going your way you know you're fit uh you everything you know you are you have time you have friends you're earning and everything is fine but you don't value those things as much and you're not taking care of your body and your you know what you should do your priorities in life but uh, once suddenly you have uh, you know you're in charge of another life then you realize okay you have to treat your life also with respect so it has made me a little, lot more disciplined i i value my time what am i doing i am very particular about exercise about eating about not eating junk in front of the kids so all those things you know <laughs> so those things uh, i think it has it has made me more responsible it has made me more uh, cautious it has made me uh, also appreciate small things much much more which i didn't i wasn't the rainbow kind of a person so i now appreciate those smaller things much more that's a very wow. pleasant it's so nice to hear yeah yeah <laughs> and <clears throat> we, i think that happens no yeah no go ahead yeah no 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 i i mean yeah it happens i was like uh, reliving mine how i was <laughs> in my college yeah. days and just a drastic change you know you are so responsible i mean i have to be responsible i cannot say no i i didn't think like that no i have to there's no other choice there's no other yeah. choice thankfully i would say i mean there are pros and cons of everything but thankfully we are also uh, much more better informed these days so you realize that okay things which we were not aware of that you know gentle parenting and how to answer questions yeah. why to let them make a mess or some things their way so all these things also bring a very nice positive outlook to your own life also so it's a very refreshing uh, change for me that's nice thank that's you nice. so much for sharing that krishnali it was lovely <laughs> thank you yeah. and we just love the way the mom experts has shaped up okay we i have we have gone through your website and you have a whatsapp group to support mothers but yeah. how how what challenges did you face to set this whole thing up because it's not easy because we we understand nilufer and i we yeah. we do face challenges and it's really not easy so let us know what were your challenges so um uh, i think the challenges were and are uh, to a large extent you know the biggest challenge has been to convince people that they need uh, this mm-hmm. sort of a platform or this sort of a help i think uh, you and i both will agree i think you yeah. know so the reason why we are doing this while we could be doing something else is because we are very very passionate about it you know our own journeys have made us realize that what a huge difference being prepared or having the right support can make and um, and you when you truly believe in something you want everyone else also to believe it because you know that what will happen if they don't so yeah. for that you know, that bridging that gap is a challenge making people realize that you know don't do it later there will not be time later or it will like you know it can be much easier if you just do it right now that's a challenge and uh, i mean in fact for me i would say there are two challenges one is explaining it to my whole own family <laughs> you know my parents and my so i have uh, i have almost three dozen doctors in my family so i have oh, every, wow. right from a i would say like from a neonatologist to a forensic medicine expert i have every oh, everyone oh that's nice yeah, yeah. this lovely But, Yeah. but they don't understand what i'm doing and why i'm doing it so that's oh. a little, yeah so some of them do and now after a year and a half obviously most of them do and they are very appreciative but initially to make them understand that okay why am i not practicing in something that i have studied for so long and why am i doing something that is a doctor's job you know it's a doctor is supposed to do that what are you doing but a doctor does not have the time or the bandwidth or they cannot answer everything that a mother needs or cannot support and you can't go to 10 different people to ask you questions yeah. so that that one platform where you can you know bear yourself and don't not be afraid and not be scared of judged and ask anything so that is there you know like convincing people was a challenge and again convincing mothers that they need it now instead of later <coughs> that 
I mean, I would also like to know from you guys: Are you still facing that challenge, or is it getting easier? Ah, uh, uh, yeah, I'm coming down to the back only. Yeah, see, like you know, um, the people who have already given birth, okay, like you already have the baby, and obviously you're facing the issues. Then everyone out there, I would say, like you know, um, there might be hardly anybody. who would not agree to the statement that i wish i knew some things before i gave birth okay so 100% of the moms out there who have given birth already they are kind of like you know convinced that i wish i would have done things like you know a little bit differently i wish i knew this before i had my baby okay so i also you already mentioned it you already said, uh, like you know spoke about your take on it what you feel about it now um i'll come to your question wherein you asked that you know how how difficult it is to convince um, you know a pregnant woman that she needs to know some things before she gave birth to yeah. the baby rather than after she has the baby okay so i'll come to that part that's our biggest challenge and that's our main <laughs> yeah. challenge till date um but then you know we have women who have taken like uh, as you know we have a course right which prepares women for their postpartum period and um, we strongly advise every every woman who comes to us to uh, like you know take up that course during her third trimester if somebody already has had a baby we generally we say them like you know this course is not for you because you do not have that time to prepare yourself you will not even have the time you may not have the time to even go through that course your mind is completely different your hormones have just like you know done their job and right now this is not the time for you to like you know uh, prepare you can't you don't have the time to do that but then there are women who have taken up the course okay a lot of them and we are constantly in touch with them so they are the ones who are so happy that they did take up that course and they did prepare themselves for it okay so that is there okay that part is there we don't realize the importance of preparing ourselves until we are in that messy situation already okay how we do that is uh, like you know uh, we are trying our best actually to spread as much awareness as possible you know there have been some people who have come back and said to us that you know that this is scary like you know you should not be talking about this we the bc the idea is not to scare you okay. the idea is to prepare you Yeah. you know like we know about so many uh, like you know health issues that we may face like say there's diabetes there's uh, like you know abnormal blood pressure either low or high okay there are so many lifestyle diseases nowadays you know which everyone is aware of and you try to not get that it's yeah. not like you know after i get diabetes i will change my uh, like you know there are many people in that yeah. category also but even if you want to take care of yourself as you said you are more cautious about how you are eating what you are eating your workout routine and other things like that so we are doing that just because we know about diabetes does not mean like you know we are scared yeah. and that has had a negative impact on our life so that is the way in which i really feel that every woman should perceive the postpartum period preparation you know that is something okay you do you do things to avoid it correct okay you know that you there is something called as diabetes in this world you know there is like you know abnormal blood pressure in this world overweight issues like you know so much obesity okay i like you know just like you know just to name a few these are all the issues that are there okay being aware of them is not to scare you being aware of them is to prepare yourself so that you don't end up in that uh, like you know in that um, uh, pothole like uh, we don't want you to go and fall in there that's why we want to spread the awareness and postpartum is one such area na nobody talks about it no like yeah. now i feel like you know there are many people coming up you are there okay you are doing a great job like you are talking about postpartum there are so much there's so much of content on your um, uh, like you know your feed as well wherein you talk about postpartum so there are so many people like you like vidya like me okay who have come up and then there are other women as well who are like you know who have faced that and then they are coming up i really see awareness is the key okay yeah. there's nothing more than that and then you know uh, we uh, because we are creating uh, the awareness okay we i i i can call ourselves as the flag bearers okay so we are doing that okay and then there are other women also who are doing that now we also need to be really careful on how we are propagating it 
like you know that's another thing that's kind of an added responsibility on our shoulders okay that we want to spread it in such a way that you know not with the intention of obviously scaring the women out there the pregnant women out there but with the intention of saying them that this thing exists you know yes. maybe nobody said it to you yes. but there is something called as postpartum depression there is something called as anxiety there is something called as baby blues that you may face okay and you can avoid this to yeah. a very large extent there's obviously no 100% guarantee method but then there are certain things that you can do okay changes that you can make in your lifestyle okay both physical and mental changes which will help you avoid it Absolutely. okay for instance eating the right kind of food yeah okay taking care of yourself because after the baby is born a woman is vulnerable physically and emotionally you yourself said it like you know after you had your second baby that was something you were completely not expecting mm-hmm. that you would be like you know emotionally vulnerable because you had gone through it during your first pregnancy and after having your first kid so that is the time when women are vulnerable during that vulnerable phase do not like you know put yourself under stress that's yes. when you need to let out the stress that's when your support group your partner your parents or like you know anybody who is there with you if there is somebody with you we we want you to ensure that you have your support group with you it can also be a virtual support group like mom experts has already okay so it can be any kind of support that is really needed and as you said you know you cannot really go to 10 different experts okay yes. and ask questions to 10 different people you know our intention is also the same if you see our course is something that is created by 10 experts okay 10 okay. experts and doctors okay now all those people came together put in their knowledge to benefit the women obviously now this is something to prepare yourself this is i can keep talking about it professionally i can keep talking about it endlessly but this session is supposed to be about you so i'll i'll uh, like you know i'll keep quiet um now actually my question and answer was both there in the uh, in this thing only okay what is your uh, view on it why do you think women don't see uh, like you know uh, the postpartum issues that they may face well ahead to prepare themselves what do why do you think it is there i think there is too much information there need to for okay that is a boon and a curse of today's time okay there is too much information out there uh one is you don't know what to trust what not to trust and how to distinguish between the good and the bad so what they don't realize is that okay every the thing is that everyone has gone through it so we will also do it the only thing that a pregnant woman is worried about is her delivery day that's the only thing like you know major i would say not everyone but maximum women who are pregnant they are only worried worried about the delivery because they have worried that it's painful that's where it ends बच्चा आने के बाद वो पल जाएगा दैट इज दॉर्मल टेंडेंसी plus also whether it was a vaginal birth she has exactly um consult with your doctor but uh, yeah so i think the reason why people are not keen to you know uh, give it like importance is one is that they think that it is a normal thing it will happen like you know kids grow up that's a very normal thing once you have given birth it will happen on there that is one mentality second is that you, they also think that there is lot of information available what's the need of a course what they don't understand is that one is that even if there is a lot of information you don't know what to trust what not to trust second is that information is scattered it is not as beautifully brought together like you've put in so much effort you said 10 experts have come together they are all you know like they have done that thing day in day out for years to be able to bring out such kind of content you know what similarly what we are trying to do you know having every info everything in one place so that you don't have to keep on searching for 10 youtube videos or you know keep on reading different scary blogs on the internet and just figuring it out yourself so what they don't understand is that even if there is a lot of information having it in a proper manner and brought it to you at the proper time is important that understanding and that awareness will take a lot of time to come and when they hear i think from their near ones their close ones that okay i have 
gone through this and this helped me and this is the mistake i did that you don't want to do i think yes then eventually slowly you know it will be a mindset shift but it yes it does take time that mindset shift will take time and uh, yeah. if i may go ahead and say that there are two ways to do it you know one is the bottom up approach like something that we are trying is we're trying to reach pregnant couples mothers okay and the other is top down you know like if it comes from a doctor and if it mm-hmm. comes from every doctor not just like you know so if every gynecologist if every pediatrician if every you know physician if they say that okay no this is important you need to prepare for this you need to understand these things that happen and it has a lot more weightage you know suddenly and especially uh, because i like i've told you that i am more uh, surrounded by people in smaller towns tier 2 tier 3 even you know towns and all so here the weightage that a doctor gets versus anyone else gets is like there is a huge gap in that so if a, if uh, we need support of the experts also to spread that that okay no something like this is required and you need to be prepared other than we will only guide you we like they have only enough time to tell you maybe the medicines or maybe some basic advices they can't hand hold you through the journey it's not practically possible so uh, which is why programs such as the ones you have such as the ones we have you know it's very important to have more uh, more weightage more importance to such programs so i think that mindset shift will take a little time and a lot of persistence from all of us yeah uh sushma you know it just something popped up in my head uh, you mentioned that you know you have like you know around 30 doctors in your family itself right um now uh, and you also mentioned that you know uh, many of them are not uh, have not it understood like you know what you are doing like why you are doing it okay how do you think like and that's the case with most of the doctors okay because we have uh, like yeah there are some doctors out there who uh, like you know maybe who are mothers themselves you know again there there's a difference that comes in okay because once you as a person undergo uh, like you know go through that phase then you will have a very clear understanding about it and then you will be like yes you know this is the right thing to do but then majority of uh, the doctors out there are not blaming anybody it's just not in their syllabus okay they are doing their job and they had they have a certain um, uh, set of uh like you know rules to play by so it is just not part of their job so how do you think like you know um we can make a difference like say you and me and vidya how do you think we can make a difference uh we cannot definitely visit and meet up every doctor in the country okay and uh, we are here three of us are here today because we feel that you know you are doing it in a different way we are doing it in a different way but ultimately we are doing the same thing we want to like you know we want women to have their own support groups we want women to realize the importance of care after having a baby and that it does not really just stop at the birth of your child okay that's what we are doing now as you said if we go through the top down approach in your terms okay how how can we make an impact at the top part like you know how can we make a change uh wherein like you know doctors are looking up to us i we have a few examples in fact uh, um uh, like you know many or many people who have joined our course they are actually doctors okay and uh, we had lovely reviews uh, from them so yeah they the, we have that thing but then you know that percentage is small and that is like you know not really um compared to the whole population uh, that we have even if we talk only about india it's huge so how do you think we can have like you know more impact whatever we are doing is definitely impactful but yeah. how do you think that we can make more and more people aware about this thing even if they like you know uh, it's something just to be aware of like you know just have that word in your head that postpartum is difficult you know uh even if you do not really go and take up a breastfeeding class or you don't just having that word in your head because that word is also missing it's missing stop yeah. to talk about it guys it was never talks about it okay no. so yeah, that's a very interesting thing to ponder upon uh there is one question here i have tried many feeding bottles my son is refusing can you please suggest one i'm sorry to digress i think dear you again need to consult a lactation professional uh, you can get in touch with nilufar or us or you can you know find we can suggest a few names who have who are experts here and they'll be able to tell you exactly what to do and coming back to the point uh, nilufar how can we tell them what they're doing so i'll tell you problem is on both the sides okay uh, while i know that um, 
so you know all of these uh, cases that keep on happening with doctors also okay there's a reason uh, why they are also over cautious about a lot of things even if something goes slightly wrong for no mistake of theirs they are going to be blamed okay then there is an outlook that you know Uh, there is a there's a lot of bad pr i would say you know putting it very over simplified way um people think that okay doctors will go for c section only because they want money they will do you know they will uh, uh, prescribe you extra tests just because they get something out of it so there's a lot of bad um, you know like i said there's a lot of uh, misconception in the mind of the public also what that leads to ultimately is that the doctors think that okay why take risk you know we are trying our best we are it is you know obviously they are uh, it is a profession but they are also it's also a service they're going out of their way uh, to do a lot of things so then that also makes them over cautious that okay you know what let me just do my job let me just opt for the safest path and not uh, take any risk so to say because they have their own families they have their own lives to take care of so what i've seen is that a lot of times we end up generalizing things saying that okay you know it, it's not black and white ever it's it's a lot of gray so uh, what we have to what we can maybe do is tell them that how it is also about making their lives easier you know how it is about i know that they are when when they are telling a mother to go for a scan every week they are perceiving some threat they are perceiving some issues why they are asking it whereas if this person similar person was maybe having a particular a proper routine if she was guided throughout her pregnancy about why should she be active why should be she should be having a particular diet maybe the doctor's job would have become a little easier so you know it is about it's a, it's a uh, it's i would say it's like a handshake it's a give and take it's not like the two things are separate so while a mother has to gain a lot by doing such courses you know and by preparing herself for postpartum even a doctor has a lot to gain if her patients you know if their if a hospital if their patients are well prepared for pregnancy and postpartum even they have a lot to gain because a prepared patient is much more cooperative they will never miss their you know they will never avoid the uh, tests that their doctor tell uh, tells them to they will never um, you know doubt this or second guess the judgment of their doctors which is what happens a lot of time so um, so all so i think somewhere we need to send out the message that you know it is it's not you versus me it's all about you know making bridging that gap and making everyone's life a little easier and the entire journey in that uh, case you know, we make it trying to make it a little smoother so i think that maybe that may strike a chord with some it's lovely you know i just want to give a yeah. like you know give hand uh, like you know really uh, lovely way of thinking uh, krishnali like you know amazing like i'm just amazed by the way you are thinking and the way you're putting up things it's like really amazing like i'm so 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 happy like you know we have the session you spoke out and i really learned so much from you thank yes. you so much, so much yeah to- <clears throat> you know it matters yeah how, yes yes how we put out actually we were talking <clears throat> the other day to one of uh, physiotherapist okay she is in bangalore every time she speaks to a doctor they ask her you know why why is uh, pelvic floor why are why is the pelvic pelvic floor specialist needed she she has to you know struggle and explain that see there is something like you know urinary continence can be there constipation core muscle is needed you need to you know have a session first making the doctor convincing the doctor is her you know first toughest part which she had shared so it is kind of a handshake and i Dr. hope that you know the obstetrician yeah. gynecologist yeah. like yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. that's what the therapist has a challenge that- Imagine about us, you and yes, me. Yes, yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. And she has around fifteen years of experience. She says this is her most challenging part, convincing yeah. the doctor. And then she will also comment, you know, something like, uh, um, uh, like we, uh, the physiotherapists talk about DR, right? Mm-hmm. That this is like that. That's a pretty common thing that almost every physiotherapist talks about to a pregnant woman. And then the OB/GYN had questions like, you know, like. Uh, what what are you talking about like you know there are hardly any muscles over there uh, if we are doing a c section you know there's hardly anything that we see and this was not just by one uh, obigen uh, it was like you know uh, there were others also who commented right today i don't know whether you yes. observed it there were others also yeah. other kind of clauses also who commented the same thing yeah. so yeah, then is actually i even like you know i feel that uh, there's a huge gap and it's yeah. not anybody's 
mistake or it's not any single person's issue okay it's just uh, the way it is maybe like you know women's health was not given that kind of priority the way it had to be okay especially mental health okay and there there are again so many taboos uh, like you know all sorts of things uh, are there and i really feel that's why uh, you know we are facing uh, uh, like you know all these issues even even in today's uh, day like you know this is 2022 where we are talking yes. and yeah it may be just because you know um as you said 10 different people okay actually 10 different experts are needed after you have a baby you know that's that's that, that reality nobody is aware of but i think nobody is talking about it team page nilu for that is exactly. a big exactly because exactly uh, that's a better problem there is yes. different so you are yes. here one doctor yeah for example uh, like you know for example uh, we had so many uh, like you know contradicting uh, ideas and views on the postpartum belly binder yeah that yeah, is I such see. a huge 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 topic yes. okay and it is so controversial yeah. oh my god like yeah still even now we don't have any yeah. common uh, like you know wherein like everyone agrees Okay, and these are the top medical experts we are talking about. Yes. Okay, from different areas. Okay, so nobody agrees on one single thing. It's just like okay, I agree to disagree, and then you move on, and then the woman is left wondering whom do I like, you know, go with. Right. Yeah. Once to her, then she's like, okay, I would just better listen to my mom and grandmom and all that. So exactly. <laughs> That's it. It's our. Yeah, seriously. Even urinary continence, we had a session on that. Okay, it was like cardiac. I mean, anything to related to heart problem, everybody is all ears. Eh, heart, heart issue. But urinary continence is neglected, and nobody yeah. even thinks it is an issue. So yeah, yeah. It. I mean, I, I hope things change. Yeah, we are well, doing. And like this. I think the change will come both the ways, like the way we are trying from mothers and through word of mouth, yeah. and even from doctors. Because I think the most aware people who are taking such courses and trying to educate are also doctors. So we yes. also of a uh, lot of doctors in our group who are like, "Okay, my God, thank God, someone told me this. I didn't know." Yeah. yeah. To admit it also, because they are not. It's not like they are the be all and end all of everything. You know, you mm-hmm. can't know. Oh, it's yes. very important. actually. I remembered after you said yes. One of our customers, okay, she's a doctor, and she uh, we have a support group where she was, you know, posting uh, some of the questions. She said these things are not in our academics. You know, I I I don't even have these things. What is this? Uh, can you please help? I would yeah. mean we feel no uh, like hey what is this they are you know gynec they are they are supposed to be knowing all the reproductive system and all but they, not everything is covered in the textbook is what now we are realizing I, yeah actually what what like you know what i really feel is that um this uh, like you know this area this postpartum period that we talk about okay after childbirth that has been like you know hugely neglected Uh, uh like you know medically uh, uh seriously like you know simply speaking like uh, yeah. nobody talks about it nobody cares about it nobody gives a damn about it including the woman herself yeah okay <laughs> so we are equally responsible it's not just about some system or some uh, like you know uh, experts out there who um, uh, it's it's just neglected nobody talks no there's nothing okay and that's why like you know after the baby is here all the care and all the love and everything is just directed towards the baby which is good and needed definitely because that that cute little human is completely dependent on me yes that is definitely needed but what we miss to understand is that a mother is also born with the baby and that sentence is like you know it's really yeah. really okay. if you actually understand it it's really a powerful sentence we need to understand it yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah but anyways um, like you know personally you are doing an amazing job okay yes. uh, like you know your content is amazing uh, the way you put up things are is amazing okay um you are you are like you know a change maker uh, that's what i can say and it's so good it's really good uh, like you know to know you in person and the kind of work that you're doing it's um, it's really awesome okay really really awesome and uh, yeah <laughs> we are so happy to uh, know you to talk to you you know 
Mm-hmm. Um, actually, I really feel that another uh, major thing is that we all need to support each other. Like okay. you know, each and every woman needs to support another woman. You know that that is another missing thing in between us. So let's change that. Okay, Absolutely. by supporting each other. Always. Yes. Is and such yes, a one. Before we, I sorry. Yeah, please go ahead. No, 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 no. Go ahead, Vidya. As just no, very... I just. <laughs> sorry. No, I'm very over. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay we are we are you know uh, we can keep talking about this all three of us but uh, we have to end the session <laughs> but before we leave please uh, share your suggestions or tips for new mothers yeah yeah and also maybe like you know you can just add up like what you do at mom expert so that uh, like you know if there are people in the audience who are from new mother they will also understand that what exactly is done in mom experts because we did not speak about it at all so yeah right. maybe you can conclude it in that way yeah uh, i think the idea is very simple uh, idea is to provide timely help and support to pregnant and new mothers throughout their journey uh, by timely i mean that not too late that you wish you were prepared and uh, uh, also because too much information is overwhelming it's not possible for mothers to uh, accept and digest that especially when you are a little away from that stage so uh, that is a simple idea the second point is to sort of marry the old and the new so we know everybody today wants scientifically backed uh, you know information but at the same time i think there is a lot of value in our customs and traditions so it is about marrying the two and about understanding that why one is not over the other why they are both can go hand in hand and how to incorporate both of these in your pregnancy and postpartum period so at the mom experts like i said so there were a lot of things that when we formed the support group uh, one and a half year back when i started the support group i realized that some questions kept on coming repeatedly so mm-hmm. questions surrounding you know breastfeeding questions surrounding introduction to solids um, then you know again uh, newborn sleep so there were questions which kept on coming repeatedly so we thought okay let's have experts talk about these specific issues so that mothers know what to do about it and then the idea was that okay to weave it all into a program that like you said you know like the thing that you are doing that you have experts under one roof and you will get an idea about everything that you need to be prepared about it's not like you have to hunt for information and it is a self paced thing you can ask uh, your questions in you know in the whatsapp group because whether you take the program or not the fact is that you need that you need other mothers to tell you that well, you know no doctor or no no uh, not your mother or grandmother nobody can tell you that okay no it's okay even i am going through the same thing right now so if someone who is in the 8th month 9th month and feeling that pelvic girdle pain or you know lightning crotch and someone else also saying that okay yeah, you know what even i felt it i think it's normal that reassurance is so important you know having that community having that tribe so that's the whole idea behind the mom experts to have pregnant mothers and new mothers meet and interact with each other and take benefit of the information and the you know courses that we have curated to prepare them to have a confident time later on you know not be constantly doubting themselves that okay whether i'm doing this right whether i'm making enough milk whether my baby loves me you know whether i should walk talk sit do this do that or not so you know taking the question mark out of the whole thing and making them uh, more confident that's the bottom line yeah lovely Yeah, I guess those are our common goals. <laughs> yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yes. I think this Thank is so to the same uh, end goal, and the more mothers yeah. we can reach, uh, I think we'll all our joint uh, aim will be fulfilled that way. Yeah, yes. true. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, thank you so much, Krishna Lee. It was such a lovely session, and really, same here. Yes, thank the you. The way so- you put out. yeah the way you put out your thoughts are very simple and it's really and very powerful yeah. effective oh, yeah effective. thank yes. you so much krishnali thank you again for joining us uh, today and spending your time with us it was a lovely session i'm repeating i've learned so many things from you i'm just going to take them with me and uh, it was lovely and you know great yeah, job yeah. continue doing what you're doing yeah with you yeah Please go. No, 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 no. You finish it, then I will. Like yeah, it. like you know, just continue rocking the way you do. Okay. Uh, some of your content is like actually, uh, like you know, uh, funny also. It makes me laugh. At the same time, make me learn. Uh, 
uh, about a lot of things and i think you are just doing amazing okay handling two kids having two kids and like you know um uh, like take, uh, being the founder of the mom experts you're taking care of like you know what's going on over there coming up with different programs different uh, processes it's it's just amazing okay it's just amazing the things that you're doing it's not easy and uh, still you're doing it and uh, i like you know love it just Thank love you. the way you are consistently doing it keep it up okay oh so much means a lot nilufar means a lot. yeah thank you so much thank yeah. you i i just wanted to add we recently complete recent means yesterday was our first year anniversary oh. of the yes of our course post first 40 days after child birth so we have released an offer uh, <clears throat> you know there is a 30% flat off on our course uh, it's valid only up till 22 november so if any of you are uh, interested if you want to share it with your people please do we have it this, this yeah this offer is valid only till november 22 yes and we are going yes, to for shivya's daughter's birthday as well i just want to add that because we uh, like you know we had launched it on her birthday oh yeah and yeah it's been one year now and we have come such a long way right we like the one year has been like you know so yeah, different <laughs> than the rest of our life I, yeah but it's difficult and it's also fun no it's a lot yeah. of Yeah, a lot of experiences actually. A lot of yes. uh, meetings and you guys are being like the pulley. Like so, it's so full of conviction. You know, I think what you need to do is you just need to talk to more people to convince them. <laughs> <laughs> it was so, yeah, it's infectious. You just. <laughs> thank you thank you thank so you. much krishnali and uh, let's you know plan for some other collaboration also let's meet more, i mean let's get connected with more mothers yes and thank you all for joining us and uh, thank you. yes thank you thanks thank you bye bye, bye. bye. have a nice week yeah, yeah you too